It's Monday, July 26, 2010. I'm Andy Waits in the News Bunker with today's front page review. First, the New York Times. The Afghan struggle, a secret archive. The website WikiLeaks posted 92,000 classified pages about the Afghanistan war. Some show that, surprise, surprise, elements of the Pakistan government have been helping the Taliban. Industries find surging profits and deeper cuts. Well, sure, if you fire everybody, your payroll goes way down. We call that killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. BP to replace Tony Hayward as chief with an American. Well, that'll clean the gulf right up. Finally, 30 years after the fall of the Khmer Rouge, one man has been convicted of overseeing the torture and killing of 14,000 people. He'll serve 19 years in prison if he lives that long. Chelsea Clinton marries this Saturday. I'd say more, but apparently that would be a breach of national security or something. Now, a gander at the LA Times. The citizens of Bell protest outside homes of the city leaders they unknowingly made very wealthy. Eyes turn to the danger of deflation. Seems America is entering a cycle of falling prices and wages that could be very difficult to stop. Immigration law colors a neighborhood killing. You know, some idiot killed an American with Mexican lineage, and now that's being used as leverage in the Arizona immigration law case. By the way, that law, it kicks in on Thursday. Harry Reid's son, Rory, is running for governor of Nevada, but evidently the old man is dragging him down. San Francisco considers banning the sale of cats, dogs, birds, and small mammals, except in Chinatown where you can order them on a plate. Let's check the Austin American Statesman. They hit the Afghan war document dump on WikiLeaks. Food safety laws stalled. A spike in salmonella last year from an average 3,500 or so cases to 4,500 doesn't alarm the Texas legislature enough to make drastic changes. At Canyon Lake, clues to history of Mars terrain. A 2002 flood made changes in a week geologists say should have taken thousands of years. Clues to Mars history? You know what, let's re-examine the Grand Canyon again and how long that might have taken. And now the Delmarva Peninsula and the Salisbury, Maryland Daily Times. Misty legend born at Inn. This week, thousands of ponies will swim a channel as visitors watch. It's the same swim made by the pony in the classic book Misty of Shinkuntig, written nearby in the 1940s. They're tearing down a local high school, and some would like to keep a brick as a souvenir. But the government says, whoa, hold on there. Bricks, those can be dangerous. Public radio stations adjust to saturation. Yet there are five government-run stations blanketing this tiny area. State grant to fund Marina Fuel Project. Eh, whatever floats your boat. And that's the front page review for Monday, July 26, 2010. In the News Bunker, I'm Andy Waits.